Referring to Chief Executive Officer of BP, Maury Ockenklaus's report on the company's performance for the second quarter of 2024, Minister of Energy and Energy Industries Stuart Young highlighted this country's proven prospects by 2027. When you read what Murray said, he quoted at least four projects in Trinidad and Tobago that they're proceeding with Mentos. He's speaking about, he's about the FID, two other projects in Trinidad and Tobago, ginger, coconut. FID refers to the final investment decision, which is the final stage on whether or not to proceed with a given project. There are significant opportunities. And everywhere I go in the world, if it's in the Middle East, in Doha, it is in Saudi Arabia, we go to Europe with the Proman Group, you go to BP Shell, Metanex in Vancouver, all of them are proud to say how many Trinidadians they have in their operations. The energy minister noted the Venezuelan projects should also come on stream during that period. There are opportunities as far away as Africa. Africa has a lot of onshore resources. You always, whenever you're in some airports and you will, you always bounce up some trini coming back and they say, look, I just finished my six month, my six week stint. I was out in the Middle East. I was in Oman. I was in, in Abu Dhabi. I was somewhere. I was in some country in Africa drilling and they're coming home. Minister Young added that this country's experience in the energy sector spans over 100 years. The region is expanding as well. There's talk about Suriname. They're hoping to take FID with some projects in the not too distant future. Now, Guyana is hundreds of kilometers offshore, but there may be opportunities there as well. And there's always need with the service companies. President of National Energy Skills Center Technical Institute, Kern Das, said the academic institution also plans to expand its horizon. We are looking to go regional and Suriname and Guyana first. We need to re-engage Nigeria. Um, right now, we are in conversations with a training provider in Nigeria who actually brought the last set of Nigerians here. Mr. Das also offered a suggestion to improve safety on rigs operating in all local waters. We, we need to have some sort of standard minimum qualifications. I'm thinking that anybody stepping foot on a rig should be, just like he mentioned, the plea passport to Point Lisa's area. Um, you know, that might be something that we could massage or because, I mean, all insurance companies now, everything is now about certification. I am Terry Ann Brown Campbell, and this is Evolving Energy.